I'm Rick Robinson. I'm Wes. I'm Pete Last Guy, and that's totally my real name. Just drop the gimmick, dude. No. We are here to talk about the WWE brand extension draft. You mean brand split draft? Smother. Split extension. The split extension. Split extension sounds like something terrible that happens to your hair. That sounds like an illness. First thing, who won? Quote unquote. <laughs> Raw. I mean, he's probably not wrong. <laughs> Wrong. He is wrong. Oh, wrong. Oh. Smackdown. Why do you think Raw run the draft? Okay, so their knee jerk reaction to most people was like, all the undercard and mid card guys seems like they went over to Smackdown. Let them be, you know, that that uh, struggling uh, little brother, you know, to Raw. Right. Uh, you know, which wasn't helped by you know Shane Mac ripping up his you know paper and tossing it after Raw drafted uh, Enzo and Cass. But I, I think that's what they want us to feel like. This is a Mark thing. Uh, but I still believe it. Your response? I think SmackDown won because I think for for a two hour show, SmackDown has a lot of a lot of talent to put into that show. And I'm a fan of their tag team division. I like the chemistry they have. Usos, Ascension, Brizongo. That fest where you go to for uh, for tag team gold. American Bod Villains Alpha. Okay, Ameri- yeah, Who I want to open with American Alpha. <laughs> if Kurt Angle comes back to manage American Alpha, I will lose my mind almost as hard as I did that Shane O'Mac came back. Uh, women's division, Mick Foley. I love you. I think you're great. I can't say enough wonderful things about you and the things that you put your body through. But all I wanted was Sasha Banks on SmackDown. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. And you ruined it. Let's let's talk about the conspicuous lack of Bailey because that seems to be a divisive point. A lot of people are saying, "Okay, uh, you, we want Bailey on the main roster because oh, Bailey, we love Bailey. Yeah. huge marks for Bailey. We get it." Uh, the other side contends you got to leave people like Bailey and Oscar on the NXT roster so that NXT can actually continue uh, to be a powerful brand. As Triple H has already like explicitly stated his, himself, it's not so much a developmental territory anymore as it is its own distinct brand. Mm-hmm. So, what are the thoughts on that at this table, anyway? Uh, Bailey is the difference between drawing 300 people to a crowd for a live show at NXT and drawing 1,200 people for a crowd at NXT. Until you have somebody who can draw like that, which, I mean, you're getting there with Shinsuke, you're getting there with Samoa Joe. Like, you have to keep her down there. I'm glad she didn't get drafted because that doesn't mean that... It means that when she comes up, it's going to be special. See, that's my opinion, too. Like, Bailey and the draft felt stupid to me. Why would you waste her by having her name called probably in the third hour of Raw mm, yeah. and have her entrance music play for a couple seconds and then the highlight reel and then it's done? Yeah. Why not save that for a surprise? You say, hey, I'm here. We're filming this pre-Battleground. The pre-show is actually on, like, just over there right now. They just over there. That, that ladder spot where... Zane bent KO in half. Also, that's speaking of, let it in. Yeah, yeah. Let it in. Oh my gosh. Here's the thing. Side side note, by the way. If you're going (laughs) to say that you're going to have a match between Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, it's going to be the last match that they're going to have. It's going to end their feud. Why the hell are they on the same brand? It's the last match in the same way that that other match was once in In a a lifetime. lifetime. (laughs) Sami. Leave Kevin Owens the, alone, right? He's Please. Like, coming off like a tool a little bit. He's like, a weird obsession. Yeah, yeah it's, it's getting a little thing. healy. But you dated Bailey, Bailey Wise, what I was, ba- Bailey Wick? Bailey Wise. Ba- Bailey Wise. Regarding Bailey, this, this might be contingent on whether or not she ends up being that surprise uh, mystery partner. partner. Yeah, mystery partner for Sasha's match tonight at Battleground. Who's to say? Not us yet. Once we post this, we're going to look like idiots or we're going to look really smart. One of the two. What about the, the rest of the NXT uh, call-ups? we got to leave some of the talent, the big talent, big names, big draws over there. But that doesn't mean you have to draft Mojo Raleigh. Okay? Hey. Okay? Wow. Hype. Oh, you ain't. And he stays hype. You ain't hype. You know, maybe that's Zack Ryder's future. Maybe instead of giving him a push to the IC or American title, maybe that. they put him in the tag Plus, team. Plus, I'm a fan of Mojo. Future. He's really fun, energetic. He, like... I hate him. He come, He looks like the villain in every 80s Yeah, story. he really does. This is unrelated, but we're going to Shaq Big Show match the next WrestleMania. I mean, that's, not, yeah. that's a different video. Oh, speaking of uh, the Big Show... Where? Where? Um, Mick Foley? Steph? So... <laughs> So what I want to know is, after SmackDown goes and grabs American Alpha, you 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 respond with the Big Show. Like why? That's one of those picks that you make on the post 
SmackDown show. That's it's like drafting a punter in the third round. Why would you do that? That was pretty early too. Like they drafted him early. Like yeah. what are you trying stupid. to do? Trying to show me? Hey, please come watch Raw. Here's the big what? show. Did he get drafted before John Cena too? <laughs> no. Speaking of people who got drafted before John Cena, was it Roman Reigns? Yeah, right out of the game, basically. Roman no. Reigns, the guy. What? No. Roman was drafted after Cena. Oh, oh but God. still pretty early uh, for a guy who's. Uh, as oh. of this taping, just now off suspension. Because, yeah. you know, he took Adderall and, you know... Was, that, was that. that it? All the things that get busted for, Adderall. As a Seahawks fan, you're familiar with people getting uh, busted for uh, yeah. Adderall, so... It's true, though. Yourteamcheats.com. Go there. Really, it's... It's it's good. Let's talk <laughs> women's division really quick. Yeah. Like, Raw has the better women's division, right? I mean, they got the champ. I think what they're doing is they're gonna let the women kinda... Move in between. Especially the one who's the champion, obviously, and I think she can probably will be defending that soon. What soon? You're going to, like, take your shirt off or something? No, or? Sasha Banks is going to be oh. champion soon. Oh. I'll be. Becky and, and Natty over at SmackDown. Who We're else gonna, is over there? Uh, what NXT chicks? Alexa Bliss, which is great, because I love Bliss, even. And then... And uh, Carmella. I love the women's wrestlers that they have on SmackDown, but I feel like they're better as characters than as in-ring talent. Except for Becky. I can see that. Yeah, Becky's, Becky's, Becky's pretty it. great. If uh, the <laughs> camera break. angle looks different here, it's because... It is. The phone was... The phone, yeah, the phone. Uh, it was set up on hot dog buns. I keep YouTube asking my channel. parents for a GoPro for Christmas, but I'm 26. I actually really enjoy that they broke up the club and AJ Styles. Mm. It, it's I was gonna allow AJ to go to SmackDown, build himself, probably be either the first or the second SmackDown champion. Speaking of breaking up uh, teams, it's hard factions, to do. breaking up <laughs> factions. Guys, you know where, where I'm going with this? Braun yeah. Strowman uh, over on Raw, Man, while the rest awesome. of the family, uh, <laughs> uh, with the exception of obviously Luke Harper, who's who's out with an ACL, I guess he should be um, back in August. The rest of the family went over to SmackDown. Um, what do you guys think they're, what, what do you, are you gonna try and actually push Braun Strowman as a solo act, or are they gonna align him with somebody else? What's probably gonna happen is he's gonna run through people. He's gonna be around, I he's, big, yes. big Baby Mick pushed hard, is gonna, like, just run, run rampant because he's huge and swole I'm and... I'm veto that nickname. So you're saying, uh, like, Swamp Goldberg, essentially? Yes. Okay. Swamp, Swamp Goldberg! Goldberg. <laughs> Now trending. Hashtag Swamp Hashtag. Goldberg. So you're saying big solo push just as a Because that's what Vince, that's what else is Vince gonna do? Yeah, and he, he likes huge he likes huge. How you gonna finish that? <laughs> there you go. Let's wrap this up soon, but what do you guys think about the potential of a of a Balor uh, Balor Club essentially of a Balor and uh, Gallows and Anderson alliance forming soon because obviously AJ is on a separate brain, he's on SmackDown, they're on Raw. If we get AJ Styles versus Finn Balor at WrestleMania mm. For My control heart. of the club. All right, all right. I want yeah, it. Yep. I am looking forward to seeing Balor and Rollins fight. I don't know about you guys, but let me see. They're on Raw. Yeah. Uh, Anything else specifically you had in mind that you wanted to address draft wise? I don't know why they didn't draft Heath Slater, but it was awesome. I also know why they didn't draft Heath Slater. A Jinder Mahal might actually be coming back. Something now, I've heard. Now they need is Drew McIntyre back. <laughs> you can have a two man band. We're a two man band. band. I will not be a part of this. Because then it would be, we're a three-man band! Yeah, that's us. We're the three MB of BMB. Yo, yo, I'm Rick Robinson. This here is Wes Webb. This here is Pete Lasca Ellis. And guess what? We're out. That's our draft hot takes. And they's hot. Hot like dogs. Dogs like the big dog, like the big show. And we are out. It's Tasty. It's a free association to end that. <laughs> Bye. Okay. If it turned out that they uh, end up being managed by Kurt Angle. Bop, 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 bop. They I... suck. <laughs> they uh... suck. They suck. When I hear Shinsuke's theme, all I can think of now is the when the broken the, Matt Hardy, the, the clip where someone broken edited that in over Yeah Hardy. <laughs> so <laughs> oh, you wrote. I knew you'd come. What even is happening? That's not what this is about. Wow, no, no, this really is. This draft. was at the end of the video. F A B U L O U S. Mm. She was drafted by SmackDown, but she's okay. filming a right. movie, so she's been uh, off. Marine there. 5. Yeah, pretty soon we're gonna get to like Marine 8. And I like to Marine 8 my chicken with some like, some nice, uh, uh, this joke is done. That's in a past video if you wanna watch it. That's that an one. inside joke. Oh. We can do like a oh. leaky thing. Oh shit! Not again!